It's hard to look at. Sea stars, those symmetrical bursts of color that brighten the sea bottom, are disintegrating at an alarming rate. Scientists are baffled. They still haven't found a cause. But in Seattle, they're trying a possible cure. This is a classic sign of wasting disease here. What starts as a small white patch ends in a rapid and ugly decline. Today, veterinarians at the Seattle Aquarium for the first time began a sea star treatment program. So we are attempting to treat some sea stars with an antibiotic, and then we are comparing them to sea stars that we are not treating and we're injecting with saline of the same amount. The aquarium is using 50 sea stars that have been identified as being in the early stages of wasting disease. It's not that Dr. Lawner thinks she can actually cure wasting disease. Antibiotics may have no effect on it at all. But maybe the disease isn't the actual killer. Maybe it just weakens the stars so that bacteria can then invade their bodies. Antibiotics can kill bacteria. So that we can see, is there a big difference? Are the stars that are receiving the antibiotics getting better? And we're monitoring them twice a day and grading the disease in each star. Again, every sea star in these two bins has shown some sign of that illness. This is the group here that's been inoculated. Now this is just beginning, so it's going to take about a month before we find out if it's working. Now, how would this all benefit what's happening in the wild? Well, it would be unrealistic to think you could go out and give injections to wild populations. But if the antibiotics work, it will help scientists figure out what they're dealing with. And that kind of information would be a rare bright spot in a dismal decline of the sea stars.